Our next guest is an award-winning filmmaker whose life was changed when he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Now his production company produces films and TV series to educate and bring awareness to diabetes and other health issues. Please welcome Charles Maddox. Charles, nice to have you Hi, here. Hi, how are you? Life-changing. People who, you know, who have these kinds of things come to them don't immediately go into film or mm -hmm. don't immediately <laughs> decide to do something like that. What happened to you? How did that all happen for well, you? Well, I actually started off in music. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, not to drop names, but 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 uh, I'm the the nephew of the legendary Bob Marley. Right. So I, I kind of got my feet wet in music, and in New York at this time it was like it was on fire, and and you I could you, you the, the, it was it was your cake. Mm -hmm. So from from there I wanted to be on Sesame Street, and I had a really good manager, and she was like, oh well I have a friend who's at this big agency, so I was like, all right, cool, well you know let's connect. So she connected to me to him, and I just thought I was just trying to be on Sesame Street. Then he started sending me to these auditions, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, come pick up these sides. I'm like, sides? What are sides? <laughs> but then I started booking these roles, and I was like, wow, I, I might take this thing serious. So it, it then led from, from that to starring in films and television shows and things like that. And um, so that's where I kind of caught the bug of, of the whole entertainment thing. But it never started off to be anything like this, trust but, me. But wow. now wow. but now this series that you're that this series that's gonna be released in January yeah, yeah. um has some real important issues that you're mm -hmm. trying to get out, trying to make the stigma less, trying to make people understand it more. Yeah, yeah. You know, my father was diagnosed. Well, he, he died from from cancer. Mm -hmm. And it was one thing where I was, Lily, I was in Jamaica working on something, and I got a call, and I had just saw him the month before, um, and they were like, he's sick, he's in the hospital, and, and, you know, come see him. He's got cancer. I said, cancer? I just saw him last month. And um, he literally, I got there, and he was, he was at that point, he was, paralyzed and in bad shape mm. and uh, he passed away probably about a month later you know so he didn't even have he because he didn't get himself tested and you know testing is key you know and whether early, it's early early detection, early detection mm -hmm. whether you know I just saw that you know something on with Will Smith who just got tested for uh, colonoscopy and he had a polyp in there mm -hmm. so that could have gone undetected and it, if we don't get tested especially as men uh, for, for colon cancer and things like that, we could end up, you know, losing our life over something that could have just taken a simple test. So you've made this uh, documentary called Eight Days. It's a docu series. Docu docu series. series yeah. that, it's going to air on A and E. Uh, FYI, part of A and E. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, so so it's going to be something that that is a, has a regular drumbeat. The the yeah. regular message is what. Well, we take five people who are living with cancer, different forms of cancer, prostate, breast cancer, uh, and we bring them to Mexico. I teamed up with this amazing company out there called Hope for Cancer, and they do tremendous work in cancer. So my, the journey is to kind of, number one, is to tell some of their stories. Um, because many people live with various conditions, and we never know what they're going through. I, I'm kind of like the Dr. York from <laughs> Fantasy Island of the show, as I kind of allow them to share who they are, also come there for treatment. So there are people who are there for the first time for treatment, and it, it's a life-changing experience because they're also, they're not just dealing with cancer, they're dealing with physical, emotional, mental uh, issues, and, and, and so we, there's a lot we have to deal with in, those, in that short period of time. You know, my, my dad died of cancer. Mm. I had thyroid cancer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the word cancer has popped up in my family quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when that word comes to you, it mm -hmm. gets very terrifying very quickly. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of emotional things that you're talking about mm -hmm. that people don't like to talk about, especially when mm -hmm. they have the diagnosis. Yeah. So I'd imagine the people that you talk to in your series have a lot of emotional mm -hmm. stories mm -hmm. to tell, which are important for everybody to hear. They are, they are, because once again, there are, certain, there are people suffering all around the country with different things, whether it's cancer, whether it's uh, uh, mental illness, whether it's HIV, mm -hmm. whether it's diabetes, um, and we don't know their stories. You know, we, we don't know mm -hmm. what, it, what it's like to sit around the house and have to worry about a test or worry about, uh, you know, what the doctor's gonna say or worry about the treatment or not mm -hmm. being able to afford the treatment that you're gonna, that you need to save your life mm -hmm. or a test, a blood test that you may need to save your life. So we kind of explore this, but, 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 but we end up doing some amazing work and saving some lives. 
So that was going to be my next question. What is your hope for this series? Well, the hope for, for the series is obviously to educate, right? So people could, number one, go get tested. People could realize that there are alternative forms of treatment, right? It's not just a standard protocol that, that you know, one, one girl on the show literally had six months to live. Mm -hmm. wow. And it was, it, was, it was diagnosed by a few different doctors. And I don't want to give it away, mm -hmm. but let's just say this girl has, has a Exceeded. very long time now yeah. um, because of her treatment going the alternative route Interesting. Of, of, of living a very, very long time, not, not far past six months. Wow. But had she had followed that, 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 that diagnosis, diagnosis, she probably would be, mm -hmm. you know. Interesting. Well, Charles, we appreciate your <laughs> Thank time. Thank you for having the me. The docuseries <laughs> is called Eight Days, and yes. it, it is debuting January 4th. January 4th, 9 a.m. in the morning. Very good. Thanks Thank so you much. for Saturday. being here. Appreciate for you sharing your talent so with us. Yes.